Okay, so let's check out the official leaks for the upcoming uh, structure deck. We have some new cards here. Okay, so I guess this is it. Only these cards have been added. Um, so, uh, Gaia the Magical Knight. Uh, if you control no monsters or your opponent controls a monster with 2300 or more attack, you can normal summon this card without tributing. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one level 5 dragon from your hand or graveyard in defense position. You can only use this effect of Gaia the Magical Knight once per turn. Okay, so this is great for um, yeah, special summoning that dragon so you can go into the fusion. Okay, so yeah, this seems like a good starter for the combo. So let's check out the fusion. Um, this card's name becomes Gaia the Dragon Champion while on the field. You can only use each effect of the each of the following effects once per turn. During the main phase, you can t quick effect, so it's uh, in opponent's main phase as well. You can target one other card on the field. This card loses exactly 2600 attack, so com it's attack completely. And if it does, destroy that card. Okay, so um, yeah, it's it's uh, it seems powerful because you can pop a card whenever you want. Um, I mean, during the main phase. Also, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card gain 2600 attack. So you don't want to destroy a monster and then have another fuel for destruction. Honestly, it's a uh, decent. It's a decent strategy. I mean, popping any card once per turn um, is seems great. Of, of course, um, you can easily deal with it with a book or a chalice or whatever. Really, <laughs> it's not that. It's not that big of a problem to deal with this card, but. Uh, the thing with this deck is with the field spell, it's much much more consistent, like with the Galloping Gaia field spell you can activate, uh, you can reveal one Gaia the Fierce Knight monster, add one level 5 dragon, or you can reveal one dragon, add one Gaia the Fierce uh, Knight monster. So the thing is that it's going to be obviously very consistent. And I heard someone said it's like 90-93% chance to open up the combo to get your fusion on the field. And yeah, I'm not so sure that this fusion on its own will be top tier uh, tier 1 meta. Like Resonators just came out uh, and they uh, they immediately like jump jumped right into tier 1, like the solo tier 1 in their the, literally the best deck. Um, I'm not so sure this is going to follow its footsteps, but also notice that we might even get some support in the box and that might change the situation completely. Like if there comes out something that is incredible, then yeah, this actually has potential and this might be good. And also with the skill that you can return one card from your hand to your deck, place one Galloping Gaia. That seems amazing. Okay, we also have, I forgot to mention, Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight. Quick effect. So, you can tribute one Dragon Fusion Monster, so it's that one. Um, Gaia the Magical Knight of Dragons. And then... Uh, special summon this card from your hand. Okay, so it's a quick effect from your hand and you can do it whenever you want. If this card is special summoned, you can target one attack po position monster in the field, change it to the defense position. Okay, so you do want to use it probably on your opponent's turn to uh, tribute off the uh, fusion monster and on which you spend the effect. 
so it's useless after you spend the effect and with this then you can target one uh, attack position change it to defense position which is great also you can tribute this card add one level seven or higher warrior monster from your deck to your hand okay um, so yeah you want to survive with this card until your next turn and then tribute the, this card to add uh, probably him and then with him you can start again your plays and make another fusion so it has this uh, with resonators if you notice it has endurance on its second turn on your second turn you can search with wild wind from the graveyard and then you can do it over and over again until and in your couple first couple of turns it you gain so much advantage that it's too much for your opponent so this might actually i don't know it has potential that's for sure i'm not so sure though if it's going to be uh, like i said <laughs> top tier but it has potential and it will definitely be at least a cog worthy deck and uh, if we get some support and they still do have some po some support unreleased then it actually might even be top tier but well, we will have to wait and see for that and my recommendation is to yeah wait and see what's the other support because if you <laughs> go in uh, right away um, I mean that's not a very strategic way to go about it um, at least if you don't have money to uh, to risk it I mean I'm free to play so I'm definitely not just jumping into it I mean if uh, if in like a couple of weeks it, it is top tier I might I might even go into it but, but yeah you have to wait and see first so yeah that's my review uh, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.